Among television's most beloved comedy sketches is the infamous Dentist Routine, starring Tim Conway and Harvey Korman on The Carol Burnett Show. First airing in 1969, Conway's portrayal of an utterly incompetent recent dental school graduate trying to treat his very first patient is regarded as one of the funniest scenes ever filmed. In the decades since, Conway has revealed one particularly memorable behind-the-scenes detail. While filming, he made Corman laugh so hard, he wet his pants. Join Facts First as we dive into the dentist sketch and talk about Conway and Corman's place among the greats of American comedy. The Legacy of the Carol Burnett Show The Carol Burnett Show, a trailblazer in the world of television comedy, left an indelible mark on American entertainment. Premiering in 1967, the show redefined the variety genre, blending sketch comedy, musical performances, and vibrant character play. At its core was Carol Burnett, a comedic force of nature, whose vision and talent shaped the show's unique character. Key to the show's success was its ensemble cast, particularly Tim Conway and Harvey Korman. These two, through their impeccable comic timing and infectious energy, became the heart of many memorable sketches. Conway, known for his whimsical and off-the-cuff humor, brought a distinct spontaneity to the show. His ability to veer off-script and improvise not only delighted audiences, but also kept his fellow cast members on their toes. Corman, on the other hand, was often seen as the straight man, providing a counterbalance to Conway's unpredictable antics. Despite this dynamic, Corman himself frequently succumbed to Conway's comedic genius, breaking character in fits of laughter. The show's formula was revolutionary for its time. It broke away from the rigid structure that dominated television, offering a more fluid and interactive experience. Audience engagement was a significant component, with Burnett often opening the show with a Q&A session, bringing viewers directly into the heart of the action. This connection extended beyond the studio, as the show became a staple in American households, praised for its family-friendly humor and universal appeal. The Carol Burnett Show also set a high bar for sketch comedy, with sketches often featuring elaborate setups and intricate punchlines. Conway and Corman were instrumental in this, and their sketches were characterized by a blend of slapstick, wordplay, and situational comedy. Their timing was impeccable, often pushing the boundaries of the script to create moments of pure, unscripted hilarity. The show was a trendsetter in terms of production as well. It pushed the limits of what was technically possible on television at the time, utilizing elaborate sets, intricate costumes, and innovative sound and lighting techniques. This commitment to production quality ensured that each episode was not just a series of sketches, but a cohesive, visually engaging experience. Tim Conway's Unique Comedy Style Tim Conway's comedic style was a cornerstone of the show, setting him apart as one of the most innovative and beloved comedians of his era. His approach to comedy was characterized by a blend of improv, physical humor, and a penchant for catching his co-stars off guard with unscripted antics. Conway's humor was anchored in his ability to transform even the most ordinary sketches into extraordinary comedic experiences. He often deviated from the script, extending scenes with impromptu jokes and actions, much to the delight of audiences and the mild frustration of his fellow actors. This spontaneous nature of Conway's performances made each of his appearances a unique and unforgettable experience. He didn't confine himself to the boundaries of written material. He viewed each sketch as a canvas for his comedic artistry. His improv skills were not just a testament to his quick wit, but also demonstrated his deep understanding of the comedic process. He knew precisely how to build a joke, layering humor until it reached a crescendo that left audiences in stitches. His timing was impeccable, knowing when to deliver a punchline or when to stretch a gag for maximum effect. This ability to gauge and manipulate the comedic rhythm of a sketch was a hallmark of his style. Conway's physical comedy added another dimension to his humor. He was a master of facial expressions, body language, and slapstick, often using these tools to communicate humor without even needing to speak. His physicality was both exaggerated and precise, capable of eliciting laughter through a mere gesture or facial expression. One of the most significant aspects of Conway's comedy was his interaction with his co-stars, particularly Harvey Korman. Conway's goal was often to make Corman break character, a feat he achieved multiple times. This interaction brought a live feel to the show, as Corman's genuine reactions to Conway's unpredictable behavior provided an additional layer of humor. 
Conway's comedy was also marked by its accessibility and universality. He had a rare ability to connect with audiences of all ages and backgrounds, making his humor relatable and enjoyable for a broad demographic. His style was devoid of cynicism or vulgarity, making it suitable for family viewing and endearing him to a wide audience. The Infamous Dentist Sketch among the plethora of memorable moments from the show, The Dentist Sketch, starring Conway and Corman, stands out as a masterpiece. It's renowned for its impeccable comedic timing and unscripted hilarity, and it showcased the extraordinary talents of Conway and Corman. The sketch featured Conway in the role of a newly graduated and visibly nervous dentist about to treat his first patient, played by Corman. From the onset, Conway's character displayed a comical lack of confidence and proficiency, creating an atmosphere of humorous anticipation. As the sketch progressed, Conway's character's nervousness escalated, leading to some slapstick errors. In a memorable moment, he accidentally numbed himself with Novocaine, first in the hand and then in the leg and head. This development marked a turning point in the sketch, as it not only heightened the physical comedy, but also pushed Corman's character into an increasingly amusing state of bewilderment and discomfort. The real genius of the sketch lay in its unscripted nature. Conway incorporated elements into the performance that Corman wasn't expecting. This spontaneity added an element of genuine reaction to the sketch as Corman struggled to maintain his composure in the face of Conway's unpredictable antics. His attempts to stay in character while visibly fighting back laughter added a layer of meta-comedy to the scene. The chemistry between the two was a key element in the success of the sketch. Since Conway's objective was to break Corman's character, he executed this with surgical precision. Corman found it nearly impossible to keep a straight face, eventually leading to the famous incident where he lost control and laughed uncontrollably, a moment that Conway later recounted with pride. Conway's Revelation to Conan O'Brien Decades after the initial dentist sketch aired, Conway appeared as a guest on Conan's late-night talk show in 2013. He confirmed to O'Brien the long-standing rumor that his antics as the bumbling dentist character had literally made his co-star, Harvey Corman wet his pants from laughter. According to Conway, Corman had not been briefed before filming on the extended physical gags he would be incorporating, like accidentally injecting himself with Novocaine. So Corman's reactions to Conway's improvisations were entirely natural and spontaneous. Conway admitted he purposefully sought out moments during sketches to unexpectedly deviate from the script. His intention was always to trigger Harvey to break character and elicit genuine laughs. Conway appeared amused and spoke lightheartedly about being proud that his dentist sketch provoked such an extreme response from Corman. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have any special memories associated with watching The Carol Burnett Show? Let us know in the comments section below.